please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for more updates. Support an educational channel. Male reproductive system in human consists of primary sex organs called testes, secondary sex organs called accessory ducts and glands, and an external genitalia. Primary sex organs include a pair of testes which are extra abdominal that means situated outside the abdominal cavity within the scrotum or scrotal sac helps to reduce the temperature of testes about 2 to 2.5 degrees centigrade which is necessary for spermatogenesis. Each testis has about 250 compartments called testicular lobules. Each lobule contains 1 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubules in which sperms are produced. Inside the seminiferous tubules, there are two types of cells are present. They are male germ cells and Sertoli cells. Male germ cells develop into sperms and Sertoli cells provide nutrition to the germ cells, means developing spermatids. The outer regions of the seminiferous tubules, called interstitial spaces, contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells, are also called Leydig cells. These Leydig cells synthesize and secrete testicular hormones called androgen. The male sex accessory ducts include Rete testis, Vasa efferentia, Epididymis, and Vas deferens including urethra. Urethra is a common passage for both sperm and also urine. The male accessory glands include a pair of seminal vesicles, a prostate gland and a paired bulbo-urethral glands. The secretion of seminal vesicles and a prostate gland constitute the seminal fluid called seminal plasma which is rich in fructose, calcium and certain enzymes. This seminal fluid also maintain the viability and motility of the sperms. The secretion of bulbo-urethral glands also help in the lubrication of penis. Penis, an external genitalia. In addition to its sexual function, it acts as a conduit for urine to leave the body. Penis usually made of erectile tissues and blood vessels. Female reproductive system in human consists of primary sex organs, secondary sex organs, accessory ducts and glands, and an external genitalia. Primary sex organs include a pair of ovaries. Accessory ducts include fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, cervical canal, and vagina with an external ulva. Ovaries are almond-like flattened in structure. A pair of ovaries present on either side of the uterus. They take part in production of female gametes called ova and many steroid hormones which regulate menstrual cycle. Each ovary is composed of developing follicles, stroma, and blood vessels. There are two fallopian tubes. 
which are 10 to 12 cm in length, lying on either side of the uterus. Fallopian tubes show four important regions. They are infundibulum, ampulla, isthmus, and the uterine part. Ampulla and isthmus are the thin walled part of fallopian tube next to the infundibulum. Fallopian tubes have many hair-like projections called cilia, which are essential to the movement of egg through the tube into the uterus. Uterus is a hollow, muscular, pear-shaped structure about 7.5 cm long and 5 cm in wide. At the time of pregnancy, an organ developed in uterus called placenta, which provides oxygen and nutrients to the developing embryo. Uterus has highly vascular wall composed of three layer of tissues called outer perimetrium, middle myometrium and inner endometrium. Uterus is the place where the baby conceived. Cervix is the narrow entrance of the uterus into the vagina. The cavity of the cervix is called cervical canal. Vagina is about 10 cm long and acts as receptacle for the penis during copulation and allows a passage of menstrual flow and birth canal during parturition. Ulva is the external genitalia having an aperture called vaginal orifice.